the issue of the power uh, you know irregularity and the absence of it has caused a lot of businesses and one of the key uh, institutions that is supposed to produce power for the country is the buoy power authority and they have had challenges of their own and we've been joined on the line by the communications manager at buoy power authority salifu wubela salifu good afternoon and thank you very much for your time Good afternoon, and a very good afternoon to your cherished uh, viewers. Great. Um, is Bui producing any power at all as we speak? Yes, we are. Uh, Bui has always produced power. Uh, I, we said we, yes, we, the only thing is that last year we didn't get so much rain as we had expected, but with the volume of water that we've been able to accumulate, the the managers of the plant are ensuring that the water is used in a very judicious way to ensure that uh, we are able to use that water to produce power through the dry season up to let's say July this year when we begin to have rains again. So we are producing power and we are doing that based on the volume of water we are able to accumulate during the rainy season last year. So how much are you producing as we speak and how much are you, what is the expected capacity production and then how much are you producing now? We, we currently produce an average of 220 megawatts of power. Uh, we did that yesterday. Uh, the the, the B generating station has an installed capacity of 400 and I think most times people would expect that since had an installed capacity of 400, which would be doing 400. But like I explained just a few minutes ago, it all boils down to the volume of water within the reservoir. And based on the, 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 the reservoir elevation we're able to achieve, we are producing power to ensure that we use that water sustainably. So we are producing power and we are contributing to the grid. Right, but it's, it's interesting the way we are told that Bui is totally offline and that you are not contributing anything to the national grid. But uh, quite apart from that, what is the main challenge that Bui has? Apart from the shortage in the, uh, the water levels, what other challenges is Bui facing? We, we, don't, we are not facing any challenge. The, 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 and, and let me also say that the information out there that we are not producing is, is very, very inaccurate. And anybody who wants to confirm whether or not we are producing power, you can easily get that information from the System Control Center of, of Grid Code. They, they are the body that are able to tell how much power each of the plants are, are producing at any point in time. So that information is, is very much verifiable. Okay, we, we are told that some of your machines have also developed some uh, technical problems because you, uh, in, in, in June, July last year, during the World Cup, you disregarded the water levels and went ahead to produce so at least Ghanaians can have light to watch the World Cup games. Is that the case? And what are, the, what are some of the solutions you found to these problems? No, first of all, we don't have any problem with our units. All three units are working well. There's, there's, there's no problem with any of the units. If you recall, last year, when we issued our press release, we, what we said was that we were nearing our minimum operating level of 168 meters above sea level, and therefore, we're going to reduce our level of production. And so, it wasn't the case that we ran the plant way below the minimum operating level. That, that, that wasn't the situation. We are producing at a high rate, and so it was important for us to inform the public that uh, looking at our water level and the fact that we're nearing the minimum operating level, there's a need for us to reduce our level of production. So that, that is not accurate. All the three units are working. We don't have any problem. The only challenge is that the, the water within the reservoir is not, is not so much because we didn't have good rains last year. And, and we are managing what we have now to ensure that we're able to produce power throughout the year. And, and, and so when we start to get rain in July of this year. We're grateful for your time. Salifu Wubila, we thank you very much for uh, telling us the buoy story and uh, what your initial capacity of production is. Thank you very much.